Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you are well. If you are new here, I would love it if you would click subscribe. So you guess it by the title, today we are talking about the Chloe Woody sandals. So the Chloe Woody sandals are super famous and have been for years and as always, I'm very late to jump on this trend. But today I want to do an unboxing, a review, show you the black versus the white ones and just generally chat you through this trend which just isn't dying down. So sit down, get comfy where I am today. The weather is crazy. We've had rain, we've had sunshine, We've had a lot of wind, so if the light changes, that's why. But I think I need like an iced espresso. Let me know what you'll be drinking whilst you're watching this video. So, without further ado, let's chat. First things first, let's unbox. So, I actually got the Chloe Woody sandals from Farfetch. Now, you guys might remember I had a Farfetch discount code. I am going to leave my new Farfetch discount code in the description box. Lucky for you guys, my Farfetch discount code has been renewed. You can use it on so many incredible brands, including Coach, Chloe, just some really nice brands. Long shop, and I will leave like the restrictions and stuff below. But seriously, I have wanted these sandals for so long, so the perfect excuse to get them with a discount. If you don't know, Farfetch is an incredible website, it's one of my personal favorites. So many incredible brands on there, and so many brands that actually I only discovered because of Farfetch. So I will leave that down below. And without further ado, let's show you the things I actually got from Farfetch this time. There's actually some really nice wedding guest dresses that I've done a blog post, so I'll link them below. They are available on Farfetch, brands that I discovered on farfetch that I would have never found anywhere else so I really need to show you guys those as well. So the Chloe Woody sandals are a trend that I saw literally years and years ago and do you want to know the reason I didn't buy them it's actually ridiculous but my name's not Chloe so I was like why do I want to walk around with sandals that say Chloe on? If your name is Chloe I feel like these are the perfect sandals for you. However everyone wears these sandals now everyone has everything Chloe the Chloe brand has just gone from strength to strength over the years and the Chloe Woody range is my personal favorite. So as you can see they've got the canvas gorgeous little logoed area they are basically a hello i am a designer sandal like it's in your face it's screaming the bottom is actually super good quality these are very very comfortable and thick which is always nice and they're very smooth inside which we love i've never heard anyone complain about these everyone just seems to have them wear them with gorgeous floaty dresses and love them so i did not know what color to get once i got over the fact that my name isn't chloe and hello everyone wears chloe i also got the white ones as well so I can show you as a comparison. It's one of those things that I should have just bought these years and years ago but they just keep getting better. If you have a look on a Farfetch website you will see that Chloe now do so many things in the woody range. You can get these in so many different colours, you can get matching bags, you can get tote bags for the beach, you can pretty much get everything in the Chloe woody range and it's kind of overtaken the Chloe range that everyone was wearing before with like the Chloe fade bags and stuff I would say. So as you can see I got the cream and the black and I absolutely love them both. I actually can't decide which my favorite color is so please comment below and let me know which color you would go for obviously i am not going to keep both of these it will be deciding which color but i feel like the reason people love these sandals so much is because they just go with everything so i'm gonna pop some overlays on screen so you can see how i would style them so i feel like the girls that are styling these they are absolutely beautiful again that kind of ibiza looks gorgeous island chic kind of look so for me these look absolutely beautiful poolside i keep seeing them on instagram and everyone's kind of on the side. They've got their margarita in one hand and then Chloe sandals. It's that really like beautiful, classic, chic look. So maybe you would wear them with like an oversized shirt, a cute little white dress like the one I'm wearing now. I feel like the color of them just makes them so easy and versatile to wear with everything. They literally go with everything, but for me, the way I would prefer to wear them would be that kind of Ibiza cheek look. So in terms of sizing with these, I actually got my standard size, which is an EU 39 or a UK size 6. Now I have very wide feet. If you guys have watched my channel a lot, you'll know I'm pretty much a duck. I actually have a blog post all about my favorite trainers and I talk in that a lot about how I like ones that are for wide-footed girls. Now these actually seem quite great for wide-footed girls like this super comfortable and everyone says they are really really comfortable however because of the canvas over the top the canvas doesn't have much stretch and now what you need to bear in mind with that is that for my fellow wide-footed girls you probably should size up and I've seen a lot of people say that when they are wide-footed they size up and it just meant that there was a little bit more room here for them so they're not going to get those blisters so do bear that in mind like I say I have the promo code for Farfetch and I'll leave the link below so you can always shop through my link with a discount and maybe get both sizes and decide which is best for you. A lot of people have said that they're really lovely to kind of pop on for a nice dinner when you're abroad or wear down to the beach or wear for like a lovely brunch when you're abroad but maybe you wouldn't do loads of walking in them. 
Just another point on the sizing, the canvas bits apparently do stretch a little bit over time, a bit like espadrilles. My Chanel espadrilles are actually leather and the bottom of these is leather. I don't know why they're called the woody sandals because this is not wood, this is leather. So you guys know I love walking long distances and things and a lot of the reviews do say that these are just not those kind of shoes. So they're the kind of shoes that you're gonna own and love and they're gonna be that nice little designer piece in your wardrobe, but maybe not the best for walking in. However, they are super sturdy. The leather base makes them really sturdy. And like I've said, this canvas bit does apparently give over time, but apparently it is a canvas bit that makes them a bit more uncomfortable, even though they're sturdy. They have like the 0.3 kind of height, so they are truly flat sandals, which maybe is why they're not the comfiest to walk in. And then they have the Chloe here, which is padded. So they are really like a beautiful sandal. They're the kind of thing that is just gonna elevate your wardrobe. They're such a great staple, but of course, I'm sure a lot of people are going to say, have the Chloe Woody sandals had their day. And I think that's why they keep bringing out so many different variations of them. People obviously love them and people obviously find them just really easy to wear. For me, I can just imagine popping them on and walking down to breakfast on the beach with them. The different colors, I could not decide between the beige ones, which I absolutely love and I'll link them below. And then for winter, they even have like woolly style ones and then they also have lace ones. To be honest, it was really difficult to choose which ones I actually like. I also, I do a lot of research online, I'm sure you guys are the same, because you're watching this video when I'm trying to find out what designer things to buy. My mum always says to me I should stop spending my money on designer shoes and go for bags instead. I'm just drawn to designer shoes instead. Sorry again guys I feel like these changing on this video. We are really dealing with the elements today. Do let me know what the weather is like where you are. So as I was saying I actually do a lot of research when I'm buying stuff and I saw a girl online and she basically said when she first got these she rated them a five. So I saw something online basically say that when she first got these sandals, they were a five out of ten for comfort. You guys know me, why I didn't need the comfort. She said actually after the six months of wearing them, they are now a seven out of ten for comfort. So it seems to me that just like trainers, they are a sandal that you just persevere with. So fashion and they get more comfortable over time, which is kind of the case with a lot of things. Just depends if you want to do that. She also said that one of her hacks is to just pop a liner underneath here, like um, a liner that you would line your shoes in, like what I wear with my espadrilles. And then you can get them and you can stick it up here and then it makes the canvas a lot more comfortable. So I will absolutely begin that and I will absolutely report back and let you know how I get on. But in terms of me, first impressions after unboxing them, I don't know where the woodiness comes from, but the name Chloe Woody, maybe it's that this looks like wood, but I feel like they look super stiff, but super durable. I mean, that's fantastic. They don't feel like they're gonna break. I feel like they're gonna be great to wear on sand, wear on different terrains when I'm abroad. And truly guys, I cannot decide between the colors. I'm probably gonna get this one because I feel like it goes with everything. Then I love the white inside the black writing, so I am going to need your help with that. So to conclude, I feel like these are going to be the most perfect shoe that I like, a special shoe for summer. So if you're going to a lovely brunch, a lovely dinner, or if you are on holiday, they're definitely not something that I will be wearing into the ground like a lot of my other shoes. I know I like to get my wear out of designer items, but they are more of a special shoe. I have some spray that I would actually spray on the canvas as well, which I'll link below, which should hopefully protect them. I'm definitely going to do the hack and pop the liner underneath the canvas and I would probably actually size up in these because everyone has said to size up and um, they feel okay for now but I know what people mean like I do want them to be comfortable I know this is going to stretch a little bit I would rather it was super super comfortable on day one than me having to stretch them out so there we have it guys do not forget to use my far fetch discount code like I say it's going to be beneath the video and there will be some favorites on my Instagram stories Thank you so much for watching guys. Come say hi on Instagram at mshellx. There's also going to be a little bubble on my Instagram which will have my discount codes including Farfetch and including the things that I will be buying from my wish list whilst I get some discount. Thank you again guys. Bye.